Hello and welcome to this tutorial on custom functions in Kronos. When programming, you may often find yourself repeating a pattern of familiar functions. Placing such patterns in functions of their own will make your patching both faster and easier to understand. The library that ships with Kronos is full of functions. In fact, you browse through them whenever you add nodes to your patch. The visual interface makes it easy to define your own custom functions. You can even export them to textual form and add them permanently to the Kronos library. To create a function, open the workspace menu and click Add Function. You're prompted for a function name and a list of arguments. Let's create a function called MySquare with the default argument list. A new tab opens up. It is populated with two nodes, arg for argument and forms which you use to define the function body. Whatever is connected to the input of your function comes out of the argument node. Respectively, the signal you pass to the forms node will be the output of your function. For this one, let's take the square of the argument x. Let's head over to the main tab to test it. Let's evaluate. And the function works as expected. Custom functions can also deal with audio signals. Shown here is an audio patch where a user dial sets the volume of a sine wave. Due to the nature of computers, the signal from the dial is not entirely smooth. You can hear some crackling as we adjust the volume quickly. Let's create an amplifier function that takes care of this problem. Add a new function called myamp with the arguments signal and level. Instead of directly multiplying the signal with the level, we should first convert the level to an audio signal. To do this, we can use audio clock. This injects sample rate updates to the signal, regardless of the original source. Next, let's use a lag filter to smooth out the signal. When we replace the multiplication node with our amplifier, the crackling no longer appears.